could you install saddlebags onto an e-bike that has a rack mounted battery? Stick around and I'll show you how I've done it. Some saddlebags are notoriously difficult to attach to an electric bike that has a rack-mounted battery. There's simply not enough depth here, so there's not enough room for the hooks to be seated properly. This is my Pedigo, and I, today I'm going to attach my bags to my Bosch Cube, which also has a rack-mounted battery. The problem is the way that these nice brand new Axiom bags are made uh, for attaching to the bike. Uh, they have two clips which are sort of curved up, but they also have a spring-mounted uh, retainer that will hold them in place. So uh, if you were able to cut these, that would solve the problem. But if I cut these, I think I'm going to ruin them and they might not hold well enough anyways. So what is really needed, so if you try to attach it, there's no way that you can get this on because it, it just doesn't go in deep enough. So what's needed is an extra bar on the outside of the rack that we can clip these easily on. And that's what I'm going to install today and I'll show you two different ways that you could do this. I have some aluminum tubing left over from an old chair that I had to throw out. This is half an inch in diameter and it's about 10, 10 to 12 inches long. And this will do fine for my um, saddlebag bars. If you don't have aluminum uh, as I do, you might want uh, the cheapest way I think would be to use threaded rod. I'm not going to be using this particular rod because it's too small in diameter, it's only a quarter inch and it's a little too flexible. So I'm not going to use this. If you were going to use this, I would use 3 eighths or half inch. Presently I'm making stoppers to put at each end of the tubes. I'm making these with a large metal washer that has a half inch hole. To prevent the stoppers from coming out from the ends of the tube, I'm placing a set screw at each end. I'll start by drilling a pilot hole at each end of the tubes. Now I'm sliding both stoppers onto the tube. And now I'm putting in a set screw into each hole. These consist of half inch sheet metal screws. This is the completed saddlebag support, which I'm going to install onto the baggage rack now. Now we have to cut two pieces of Velcro, nine to 10 inches long, one inch wide, the double-sided male-female Velcro. Now we attach the bar to the rack using the two pieces of Velcro and we're going to form two loops and we want the loops to be to allow the bar to be about uh, maybe a quarter of an inch away from the rack itself
Now I'm clipping the bag on to see how it fits. It clips on pretty easily. Now that looks pretty loose. Now we'll see how easy it is to remove it. Now we'll put it back on and see what it looks like. I find that my loops are too big and there is too much movement, so I'm going to make them smaller. I've redone the loops and now they look uh, just about right. I'd say that's about the Goldilocks size. That looks quite satisfactory. So that's all there is to it. A couple of points I'd like to make. Um, one thing is that I think that uh, my metal washers will scratch the paint on the, um, on the rack itself. So to get around that, I, th I can think of two solutions. One would be to wrap them with uh, black electrical tape, or um, if I can find the appropriate type of plastic to make new ones out of plastic. Uh, the other point was about uh, the threaded rod. If you're going to be using threaded rod, I would suggest you could make uh, stoppers by using a washer with two nuts like this. Here's another idea. Since the purpose of the stopper is to prevent the bar from sliding out of the loops, it could be pretty well anything. It could be something as simple as a bolt held in place with two nuts like this. The ideal, of course, would be to weld the sidebars onto the rack if you had the equipment and the knowledge. You might be asking, why didn't Robert just buy a set of saddlebags or panniers that are better suited for his bicycles? But actually, I didn't buy these. They came from a warranty arrangement with Axiom Cycling Gear. My old bags were defective, but since that model had been discontinued, the company sent me equivalent bags, and these have a very different system of hooks for attaching to the baggage rack. Another idea would be, instead of aluminum tubing or threaded rod, would be plastic rod if you have a plastic store near you. Uh, of course, you're going to think of other ideas, so if you'd like to leave a comment, uh, please go ahead. Nice to see you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time. If you'd like to see other videos about electric bikes or bicycle campers, or if you'd like to buy one of my books, Go and see my website, www.robertberio.com. Thank you for watching and never quit cycling.